Who's next for the Tudor scope? Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. My channel is all about narcissism and psychopathy. Some of my videos explain how I see the world, how I manipulate people. It tells you about past relationships that I've had. In other instances, I explain to you the way that those of my brethren behave. I explain to you how, for instance, an upper lesser type A narcissist might function, the way that a middle middle range type B narcissist behaves, what could be expected from a lower greater narcissist. I talk about the dynamic between my kind and your kind, our victims. I explain what it is we look for, the various facets of our lives, practical things that you can do to protect yourself. I bring huge understanding as part of the creation of my legacy to enable you to learn more about narcissism and psychopathy. My status as the ultra is as a consequence of the way that I have evolved so that I have been afforded remarkable insight into not only what I am, but also as a consequence of the scrutiny of those around me, insight into the experiences of my victims, the empaths, but also the outlook of normals, narcissistic people, and of course, other types of narcissist. This work is invaluable. Not only does it enable you to reach understanding where it once was never provided, it enables you to put to bed many of those questions that you have. It enables you to gain that understanding, to build your logic defenses, to fight down your emotional thinking, and often provides a precursor to people coming and consulting with me so that I can provide them with the bespoke solutions to the problems that they are facing. I also, as part of this provision of information, which benefits me as well as you, engage in dissecting the behaviours of other people. Naturally, as you know, Harry's wife features prominently because many people are interested in her behaviour. Many people are interested in what I've got to say about her because they often find it amusing and entertaining. Some want to understand more clearly how it is she behaves as she does. Others just enjoy learning about the latest shit show that she's become involved in. But as you know, she's not just the only person that I examine. Indeed, there are far more videos that are nothing to do with Harry's wife than are to do with her. And it regularly amuses me when I see people failing to pick up on that. There are over 5,000 videos on my channel. Do some searching and you'll be able to find so many different subject matters. And there are the playlists. The playlists, for example, you can access them. There's playlists about cults, psychopaths, secondary sources, telling you about the empath, how to seize the power. There's the Asylum of the Grotesque series, which is very revealing. There's the Narcissist Revealed, Devaluation, Hoovering, the Dynamic with the Narcissist, all of the interviews that I've undertaken, playlist about the Golden Period, the Manipulations, Silent Treatments, the Primary Source, Seduction, the Narcissistic Perspectives, Objectification, tells you about the mid-range narcissist, the greater narcissist, the lesser narcissist, Q&A sessions, laughing at the sugars, wounding, the Tea with Sam and HG series, videos about parental narcissists, emotional thinking, parental alienation, my HG roast series, which will give you a good tickle, a series about powerful narcissists, about... Facade management, the prime aims, the ease of control, disengagement, no contact, narc tales, the cerebral narcissist. There's my reading of Spare, of course, paraphrasing what went on there, and so much more. But also, I have examined a whole host of individuals beyond Harry's wife as what I call the Tudorscope. So I have examined, for instance, George Santos, Gwyneth Paltrow, James Corden, arsehole, Prince Andrew, Donald Trump, Tina Turner, Andrew Tate, 
Philip Schofield, Vladimir Putin, Amber Heard, Johnny Depp, Stockton Rush, Colleen Ballinger, Will Smith, Jada Pinkett Smith, Taylor Swift. I've put under the Tudor scope Angelina Jolie just recently. Chrissy Teigen Tegan Tigan with her multiplicity of names. I have gone through and examined all of these people to help you gain greater understanding. I've looked at the police narcissist David Garrick. I've looked at the dynamic between Gabby Petito and Brian Laundry with extensive and brilliant video analyses. There has been discussions of Daryl Brooks, Adam Levine. I've looked at the behaviours involved in individuals such as Kevin Spacey. I've looked at Alex Baldwin, very angry narcissist. I've examined Amber Heard, of course. I've looked at Justin Trudeau. I've looked at Boris Johnson, Bolsonaro, Ben Affleck. I've looked at Chris Watts, Hilaria Baldwin. She has come under scrutiny from the Tudor scope also. We've looked at Shane Dawson, Army Hammer as well, Joe Biden, Harvey Weinstein, Oscar Pistorius, Shia LaBeouf, a whole host of individuals who either have their own playlist or can be found in the Avery series. So there's lots and lots of people that you might not have come across so far that you can learn more about in terms of what are they. Often the outcome is narcissist, but not always. And of course, I've examined the Tinder swindler. He's been included. So that you can understand aspects of his behaviour. But I also determine where appropriate the school and cadre. So some empaths are included. And recently, of course, there was the fascinating series involving Sinead O'Connor. These are all done in a dispassionate way. You can make your determination as to whether you like the people or not. I simply state the facts after extensive research. And the whole point is, is to find interesting people so that you can unravel what they are and understand what they are for the purposes of gaining greater understanding and then being able to apply that information, of course, in respect of your own dealings. By understanding more about famous people, it helps you grasp the concepts associated with narcissism and psychopathy and makes the lessons that you've learned more applicable with regard to your own everyday lives. I undertake substantial research in undertaking the analyses. And now I'm giving you an option to suggest who you'd like me to scrutinise further. Do you have a burning desire for the Tudor scope to be placed over a particular person? Someone famous? Someone infamous? Do they come from the world of acting or sport? What about politics? Famous business person? Or prominent reality TV individual? Here's your chance in the comments section to detail who you'd like me to examine and also explain why you'd like me to examine them to determine what they are. You don't have to select people who you might think are narcissists. You can select people who you might think are normals or empaths or narcissistic. Or maybe you just don't have a clue what they are and that's why you want the forensic examination of me, the ultra. But here's your chance and I'll look at the suggestions and based upon the level of popularity for the choices and interest to me, I will select them and then place them under the Tudor scope. Here's your opportunity. I look forward to seeing your suggestions in the comments section.